kit. Hello everyone. So we are uh, passing on to the next uh, uh, session that is uh, the description of the two species which are supposed to study under the um, class of close to me. Okay. The first one that is order mixiniformis uh, under which you will be learning mixin. Uh, Mixinic mixinic it is commonly referred as hack fishes or slimies. Um, hack fishes, the term has uh, refers to the wrinkled nature of the skin. You can see in the figure uh, the wrinkled nature of the skin all along the body. It is so wrinkled, it uh, almost looks like a very old um, looking lady. Okay. So that is why it has the name um, hack fishes and it uh, looks like a fish. Right. Then another name is slime A. The reason is it produces slime. Okay, you can see over here in the figure, this is actually the slime is equation. Okay, so that is why it looks like a E and it produces slime, and that is why it is referred as a slime. E. Okay, then um, the copious slime secreted by the animal it gives the name the slime. Okay, now they are all marine, exclusively marine organisms, and they are usually seen attaching themselves to fishes. Okay, and it, uh, they even feed on the on their body. They are uh, eel-like, and uh, the body as such it can be yeah. Before that, where they are located? Actually, they are found. Uh, they are bottom dwelling uh, fishes, and usually uh, they are active uh, swimmers during night time. They are active during night time, nocturnal animals. While during the daytime, they remain in burrows. Okay, they remain buried. Okay. So they are uh, bottom dwelling animals and they, fa they are found uh, buried in the sea bottom. Okay, and they are usually distributed along the sea coast of uh, Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. A uh, same body is uh, long, eel like, and almost 2 feet 50 to 60 centimeter long. It is uh, in length, and the body is divided into you can see over here head, the trunk, and the tail. Okay, now. Uh, the surface of the body externally you can see it is, uh, the body is soft and smooth okay uh, without any skin it is devoid of skin that is why it is uh, like uh, soft and the smoothness it is because of the slimy secretion so it adds to the property okay in the head region what are the structures we can see in the head region we can see the mouth which is terminally located and it is surrounded by soft wrinkled lips and that is why the name comes hard fishes Okay, then buccal funnel and the jaws are absent in the oral region. Ranking pasted, it is highly reduced. Okay, lateral to the mouth, you can see four pairs of tentacles. Here, you can see on both the sides of the uh, mouth opening, you can see four pairs of short tentacles and it is supported by skeletal walls. Then um, on the dorsal surface, you can see the nostril opening. And the nostril opening it is almost uh, like uh, anteriorly located to the to the tip of the anterior, just behind the mouth opening. So nostril is single and it is it lies very close to the mouth and opens terminally. Okay, uh, single pineal eye is visible on the top of the head. It is not seen in the figures. And uh, paired eyes are there in the head region. You can see paired eyes are there, but they are vestigial. The reason is, uh, uh, as we have already seen, the mixin they are um, they remain buried in the uh, like uh, bottom uh, of the seas and oceans, and usually uh, during the daytime they remain inside the burrows. So obviously eyes are not actually the vision power is not actually too used, too much used, or this actually function is in such a kind of um, like a habit. The bottom dwelling habit, so that is why the pair uh, eyes are vestigial or it is degenerated, and it is because of this uh, what call bottom dwelling habit. Okay, then uh, passing on to the trunk, you can see uh, in the pharyngeal region they have six uh, pairs of gills, but these six pairs of gills they don't open to outside directly or independently. The external openings of the gill sacs they are drawn out into long tubes which unite to open by a common pore, okay, a single external gill opening or single external gill slit. I hope it is clear, okay. So they do have six pairs of um, what you call gills. These, uh, from these, um, uh, what you call the openings of the gill sac, it is drawn out into long tubes and these tubes, they 
fuse together or join together, unite together to form a single open um, a common pole. Okay, and this open outside. So on either side of the pharyngeal region, we have a single external casement, a single one. So a single pair of external gill openings. Fine. And then uh, the, the, um, regarding the uh, fins, yeah, here yeah, you can see they have a median ventral fin. Almost starting from the middle part of the body, mid, uh, mid ventrally, a fin uh, extends from the middle part till the caudal fin, and it is almost continuous with the caudal fin. And as already we have seen, the caudal fin is actually um, what we call diffusor type. And another feature we can see is like um, all along the head and trunk, the body is cylindrical, but when it reaches the tail region, it is laterally compressed. And this actually suits the swimming life in the water. Okay. Then uh, another feature is all along the trunk region and to, uh, even in the tail region, you can see there are openings of the slime glands. Okay, so the large mucus glands are present, opening them the pores along both the sides of the body on either side. Okay, and they secrete mucus or the slime, and uh, uh, that is in, that is how they get the name slime E. Okay, then um, um, with re respect to the reproduction, Nixon is a hermaphroditic nature and they, they are uh, parasitic, uh, they led a parasitic mode of life uh, as we have already seen. And uh, we have already uh, we have also mentioned that these are nocturnal feeders, that is, they are active during night time. Okay, and uh, with respect to the development, they don't have any larval stage. Okay, and the development is bad. So, I hope uh, so far uh, you are uh, clear about the mixing. Okay, so mixing, uh, they are referred as hat fishes, and we saw why it is referred as hat fishes and why uh, it is also called as a slime eel. And we saw the body divisible into head, trunk, and tail. What all structures are found in the head? We saw there is a mouth with um, uh, four uh, pairs of uh, tentacles on the lateral side. Uh, on the dorsal side of the mouth, they have the nasal opening. Then they have a pineal, median pineal eye, um, what you call lateral vestigial eyes, a pair of lateral uh, vestigial eyes. In the trunk region, you have plenty of uh, slime glands opening uh, or pores. Then a single external uh, gill slit, a pair of uh, external gill slit on either side. Then we already saw, we also saw the median ventral fin and caudal fin. Okay, and it is parasitic to fishes and certain turtles. 